Um, for those who are interested in the eruption in Iceland, I thought this would be an um, interesting map uh, uh, that the Landmalingar Islands has. Uh, this is a map that uh, Mikael, um, one of the members of the Bob Nation Facebook group, uh, told me about. Um, and uh, yeah, let's look at it. It's, you just go to uh, landmiling, uh, lmi.is and there is Umbrotasjá. So it's all in Icelandic, so um, I thought it might be useful for you to have a translation. So the first thing you see is a timeline. You just play it and it will uh, show the different sizes of the lava, how it evolved. This is the most recent, from 18th of April. So now it's the 20th, so it, it's very recent. Just uh, that was captured two days ago, and it was added to the website yesterday. Um, but we actually want to go here to Guck. Um, if you late, I've actually never used it. It's just a search. Grunkort is to change the underlying map, so you can just choose one of it, either this kind of 3D map, Grunkort, I'm not sure what, how to describe it, but I like to use the picture, which is Mintakort, this is just a satellite image. And then on top of that are all the information here, which is called Gok. Um, and I will just translate one by one what all this is. Um, so mint is pictures, so you can that's the overlay picture which you see here. The most recent one is from 18, two days ago. Um, and I can turn it off and put different um, pictures. Here's one of the earliest, 20th of, actually that's isn't that the fourth? No, that's just one day after the eruption. Uh, and you can actually turn on all of them, but um, the one that is lowest here is the one that is most uh, most visible. It's on top of everything else. So let's just turn off that. Um, and the next one is Friday, which is geological information. The most in, uh, interesting thing is Utlinur, which is the outline of the lava. Uh, this is the timeline, and you can actually turn off the timeline. See the, the, the bar here disappears, and you can just turn on individual um, layers or, or, or outlines. So this is after one day of eruption, and this is the most recent one, 18. See how it got bigger? This is the most recent part, which went over the walking path. <coughs> um, and I'm actually going to turn on the 8th of April, which is the day I was there. All right, so Train from Nutima is a lava from 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 like Nutima is, is current, but it just means like um, bef after the ice age, I think so. Nutima is probably lava after the ice age. So you can see that almost whole of Reykjanes Peninsula is just one lava <laughs> field. Let's turn that one. Misgengi is like misalignment in the crust, presumably. So if you're interested in seeing where the misalignments are. Eldstöðva kervi is like the system of, um, of uh, eruptions. Not sure how to describe it. Eldstöðva kervi. Let's just turn it off. And gross, gross Sprunker from Nutima. These are also <coughs> Nutima is the current um, um, 
eruption lines or, or fissures or, or um, cracks. Turn it off and let's zoom in a little bit more because here we can see Gauss Op is openings. So these are the dots. This is the first one, and the second one is actually not active anymore. Then third, fourth, and the fifth, sixth, and seventh are actually just counted as one. They just counted as fifth. So they count fis five fissures. One, two, three, four, five. Or Gosprunker is just the, the, those two or, or three lives. Close that. Heidergog is just uh, lines of uh, height above sea level. And height points uh, is, for example, here how many the tops of mountains, how high they are. If you wanted to know how high Stoder Hooter is. Envide is. Uh, any uh, anything related to like human activity. Tjertbili is city. There are roads, which can be useful to know where the roads are. Maybe uh, Manvirki outside of cities are are buildings outside of the uh, outside of city. So um, presumably there should be some buildings, yeah, those black buildings here. And Gönguleder is the walking path, which is very useful. Um, and the last two is the, the danger zone, where they think new fissures might open. Let's turn it off to show you where it is. And Örnefni are names of locations, and those actually appear the closer you go. Let's see. Kjeldingadalur, for example, is shown here, but if you go too far away, it disappears. So it depends on how far you are away. Yeah, that's that's um, the Landmælingar website. Um, it's really most fun for me is to turn on different maps and see how big it got. For example, here, I'll just close this window. I can see how the lava, the blue one is, how the lava was when I was there. And I actually walked right along the edge here and took some street view. And now if you go to street view, you can see the, the 360 photos and almost all of it is under lava now. Um, I was especially hanging out somewhere around here. Only this part here is not under lava yet. Um, and I'll leave a link to it down below if you like to see um, how it looked like at that time. And also interesting that you know, the most active eruption at that time was the northernmost part, and that's stopped erupting at least uh, today might start again we don't know and this little island here almost all under lava that's where people were walking up um, were a little bit in danger the most recent uh, map shows that almost all of it got covered yeah 